Hello everybody and welcome to the first HC Sim tutorial. In this tutorial we will go through the basic drawing and editing of a flow sheet. The main tools for the flow sheet drawing are listed here. They are the selection tool, empty unit drawing tool, reaction unit drawing tool, distribution unit drawing tool and a stream drawing tool. We can start by drawing an example flow sheet with few units and few streams. So we select an empty unit template, we drag and drop a unit here and one here. Then we select the stream drawing tool, click to the flow sheet and double click to finish the drawing. If we want to draw corners for the stream, we click once and again once and then double click to finish the drawing. When you click stream next to the unit, then uh, you will see that it automatically attaches itself next to the unit. Once you have started to create your own flow sheet, it's a good idea to save it. So you can go to file and save process as, and then navigate to the folder where you want to save your process. Each process needs to have a separate folder to save into because the unit files are Excel files inside the folder and if two models are saved in, the, saved in the same folder they might override each other. So we make a process2 folder and create process2 file into there. Down here we have some additional tools for drawing the flow sheet. First of all we have the zoom slider. You can drag and slide the zoom or you can hold control and use mouse wheel to do the same thing. You can always reset the zoom back to 100 by pressing this button or you can fit the flow sheet image to screen by pressing the button next to it. If you want to draw streams with 45 degree angles you should check the orthogonal tool and then when you start drawing a stream, you can see that it will only draw in 45 degree angles. If you want the same tool to persist after you have used it once, you should have the persist tool check on. If you want your drawings to snap to grid, which is located in the flow sheet, then you should have the snap to grid check on. If you want to edit the items on the flow sheet, you should first select the selection tool from the toolbar and then click an item on the flow sheet. After you click an item, you can see that the item is activated. You can then drag from the source or the destination point and change the configuration of the stream. You can also drag the stream around or drag just the title. You can do the same for the units too. If you want to add new corners for the streams, you can click the stream, hold shift and then drag a new point for the stream. If you want to delete a corner or a point of the stream, you just drag it back to a straight line. You can also edit the names of the streams or units directly from the flow sheet. This can be done by double clicking the title and then writing the new name for the unit or for the stream. You can see the stream connectivity from the stream itself. Here the destination point is marked with white arrow and the source point is marked with white circle. If we compare it to the connect connected stream, for example the stream 2, we can see that the stream 2 doesn't have any white circle in the source point. This means that the stream is connected. Also from the destination point we can see that the arrowhead is grey. That means that the destination point is also connected. If you click the flow sheet you can see the general information of the flow sheet up here. 
you can edit the active fields however you want. If you click an object, you will see different kind of information here, and you can also edit the active fields such as the name ID. For stream, it looks very similar except that you also have the source and destination information here, and you can change it by clicking here and selecting different destination. Normally, the stream source and destination is as it looks in the flow sheet. However, you can manually change it over here. The drawing tab next to the process tab contains the drawing information of the object on the flow sheet. If we want to change, for example, the color inside the unit, we can change the fill colors here and select a different color for the fill. You can also use the quick access bar here to edit the properties of a stream or a unit. So I can click here a unit and then change the color over here too. Or I can also do the same for the title and quickly change the font size for the title. You can also change the image of the units from the drawing tab. Here we have the unit image entry and you can click the three dots to change the image of the unit. The program automatically takes you to the HC9 sim units folder which contain the unit image information that comes with the HSC. I can for example change the image to be something from the iron steel folder Press open and the image is uploaded to the unit. You can also change the image by right clicking a unit and then pressing the insert image from here. Another way of drawing images for the units is to use this unit icons tab from this lower toolbar. Here we can select any image that we want and then after selection we can draw the unit here. We can also just drag and drop a unit from there and it comes to the flow sheet. Next I will tell you about the different pages of the flow sheet. On the lower left we can see the page, pages listed as tabs for the flow sheet. These pages are not separate flow sheet Instead, they are all part of the same process. So if I generate something on the page 2, and then I want to connect it to the page 1, I could do it by simply editing the source and destination information of the stream and connect it to the unit 1. However, there is another very good way to edit it. I can right-click the stream and duplicate it to the page I want. When I go to the page, I can see that the duplicated stream is there. This is still the same stream, and there exists only one stream one. However, now I can see it in bo on both pages, on page one and on page two. And in this case, the process flows, it would go so that from unit one, a stream is connected to the unit 3. The blue color on the source or on the destination end of the duplicated stream means that the source or the destination is connected to a unit on another page. So in this case the source of a stream 1 is connected to the unit 1 in the page 2. You can also edit the pages directly from the process tab up here. So I can send this item to any other page I want. Now you are able to use the basic drawing functionalities of the HC sim to draw your flow sheets and edit them however you want. This concludes the first tutorial. Thank you for watching.